This video is going to be about expected frequency. An expected frequency basically just means how many times you expect to get something. A typical question would be something like if the chances of winning in a game is 2 out of 7 and you play the game 200 times how many times would you lose? How many times would you expect to lose? And in this game you can either win or lose. Well if you can win or lose then if the probability of you winning is 2 out of 7 what do you reckon the chances of you losing is? Both probabilities have to add up to 1 so if the chances of us winning is 2 out of 7 and we can only win or lose the chances of us losing must be 5 out of 7 so there we have the probability of us losing but this video is about expected frequency in other words how many times would we expect to lose? Well, that depends on how many times we play the game. The question said we play the game 200 times. And the trick for finding out how many times we'd lose when we know the probability and we know the amount of times we play is multiplication. In other words, what we do is we always multiply the probability of something happening by the amount of times with which it could happen. So in other words, the amount of times you play the game or take part in the experiment or what have you. Let's do that in this case. So we play the game 200 times. So we're going to do 200 multiplied by the probability, which is 5 divided by 7. In other words, that's 142.8, so roughly we expect to lose the game 143 times. Let's look at expected frequency in a different context, perhaps with a probability table. If you haven't seen what probability table is, I have done another video on that, so I would check that out. This is roughly what a table would look like. Okay. Now in this game there's four different outcomes. Let's draw four different tables. There you go, it's not quite even, but you get the idea. The chances of you losing to a loss, let's say, is 0.3. The chances of drawing is 0.25 and you're told the chances of you winning is 0.32. But there's one more chance and that is the chances of the game ending before you finish. So it prematurely ends say this is a game of cricket and we're looking at the chances of rain calling off the day's play what is the chance of it ending in this game only one of those four things can happen you can lose you can draw you can win or the game can end with probability tables all the probabilities always add up to one in fact all probabilities always must add up to one if the chances of it raining tomorrow is 25%, the chances of it not raining has to be 75%. 25% as a decimal is 0.25, 75% is 0.75, and you'll notice that they both add up to 1. So here, the chances of losing, plus the chances of drawing, plus, plus the probability of winning, plus the probability of the game ending, must equal 1. Let's quickly work that out. So we have 0.3 add 0.25 
add 0.32 plus a mystery number equals 1. Adding up those probabilities, we would have the 0.3 here. And again, many students might make the mistake of saying 0.3 plus 0.25 would be 0.28. But the 0.3 is not 0.03. It's 0.3 which is kind of the same thing as 0.30. So be careful not to think that, for example, 0.25 plus 0.3 is 0.28. It would actually be, if you added these two, 0.55 so far. So 0.55, then add 0.32, which will become 0.87. And what's left over from 1? Well, if we have 87% so far, and they all have to add up to 1, we have 13% left over, which is 0.13. But this video is about expected frequency. So the real question is, you're going to play this game 80 times. How many times would you expect it to end prematurely? Now notice I say expect. It, things might end way more than usual, or might end way less than usual. You might win way more than 32% of the time. Probabilities just show you roughly how many times you would expect to win or lose. For example, the chance of getting a heads on a coin is 50-50. But if you toss the coin 10 times, it's quite likely you won't just get 5 heads. You might get 6 or 7 or 3 or 4. So this is all about expected frequency. So you play the game 80 times. How many times would you expect the game to end? Well, here we do the same technique as before. We multiply the probabilities. So we're going to do the number of times we play the game, which is 80, multiplied by the probability of the game ending, which is 0.13. And we can do that in the calculator again. That would be 80 times by 0.13, which is 10.4. So roughly speaking, the game would end prematurely 10 times. What about we, if we weren't allowed a calculator and we had to work out how many times we would expect the game to end in a draw? Well, the probability of the game ending in a draw is 0.25. So we do, we play the game 80 times, multiplied by the probability, now, without a calculator, we still know that 0.25 means a quarter or 25% chance. A quarter of 80 is 20, so we would expect to draw 20 times. And that demonstrates how a knowledge about expected frequency can help explore probabilities that occur in real life.